guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and in this video we're going to take a look at all of the settings for Windows Phone 7 series. Now with this new image for the emulator, we can see a lot more. Let's take a look. So I'm going to go over to the program list, and first I want to show you something kind of interesting called System Info. Here we get a very Windows Mobile, and that's the, the predecessor to Windows Phone 7 series, uh, like Task Manager, sort of, that shows us sort of the, the programs that are using the most CPU, programs that are using the most memory, and we can kind of slide down and see all of the programs that are open right now. It's very much similar uh, to Windows Mobile, which may mean some good things about you know porting Windows Phone 7 series to Windows Mobile devices. Uh, we can tap over to the left to the right there and we can do some other things that I don't really understand like install shell chrome um, exit system info about let's see what happens when we type miscellaneous details we get some information about the device and the disk space and the OS version and things like that so let's go back to the start screen and go into the settings and see all the different things we can do so I believe it's up here Okay, so here it is. So we've got two different kinds of settings, general and application settings. So we're gonna start in general and take a look at all of these different things. Let's click on about and you're, we're gonna notice something very interesting. It says software, Windows Mobile 7. Do you believe that? They're still calling it Windows Mobile internally, which again, jives well for people hoping to be able to get this to run on current hardware. Um, so it shows us our total storage, available storage, we can click on more info for information about the firmware and the radio, but of course this has no radio. Uh, it's just an emulator. And then Contoso is just the name of a fake carrier. So we can erase our phone here. If we want to factory reset it, let's click back. We can go to phone update and it says no updates found. Hopefully with Windows Phone 7 series, Microsoft will be getting very serious about pushing down updates to their phones on a regular basis, you know, like you get in Android or WebOS. So let's go back to the previous screen. We can go to backup, and there's actually a built-in backup application um, that probably isn't set up right now. It'll backup call history, text messages. I think this is actually Microsoft My Phone sort of rebranded. Um, so you can have all of this information stored up in the cloud. Very handy to have on-device on backup built right in. Let's go back again. Find My Phone, again, this is a Microsoft My Phone feature uh, that will be built into Windows Phone 7 series. We're really excited to see that feature there, very handy. It will ring your phone if you don't know where it is. So if it's in your couch cushion, you go onto a web interface, you press Ring My Phone, and it will ring it. Or alternatively, I think it works with GPS. It can show you on a map where your phone is if you left it um, at a party last night. Feedback settings, this will also have that, um, that feedback process and you can't do anything with that right now I just clicked on it speech voice control apparently there will be voice recognition built right into Windows Phone 7 series Microsoft voice command has some great technology so you can have your phone dial people or tell you your next calendar appointment it looks like speech is going to be built right into Windows Phone 7 series scroll down we can go into date and time uh, not much we can change here 24 hour clock things like that Regional settings, we saw that. You can change where you live, so it'll change, you know, if you have a dollar sign next to currency. We can change the color scheme, and we talked about this in a previous video. We can have the sort of uh, dark background like you see here, which is perfect for AMOLED displays, or we can switch it to the, the opposite, which is good for uh, standard LCD backlit displays. And we can change the accent color from here. Ring tones and sounds. It says Windows Phone theme 6.5, which is kind of funny. From here, we can turn the ringer on and off, the vibrate on and off, we can change the ringtone, and we're taken to this screen. Really basic stuff. A lot of this, I don't think, is done visually, which is why it looks a little bit ugly. So let's go back. Sound profiles, let's see if that does anything. Uh, this setting page is not yet implemented yet. Please look for changes in M6. I wonder what that means, okay. Um, let's go down a little bit more. Airplane mode, quite simply, switch it on or off. There's only one setting for that. Um, Wi-Fi radio, we've seen that before. What you can do is have it tell you when they find a new network, which will actually use more battery, um, but it'll also be more convenient. Bluetooth cellular data, add and manage accounts, really one place to come to manage all of your different accounts. And this graphic definitely isn't final, at least I hope. So we can click there and add 
new accounts to our device. Going down the list, we have brightness. We can change automatic brightness, but that is not working. We can do touch and keyboard. That's a placeholder. And phone lock, which will allow us to change the wallpaper on the lock screen or turn on a password um, so that when you unlock your device, you have to enter something. OK, let's jump over to applications. And this is really unique because uh, Windows Mobile typically has application settings within the applications. They don't sort of group them all in one spot like you see on the iPhone and here in Windows Phone 7 series, which I kind of like because you can go in in one screen, make adjustments, and call it a day. So here we can drill into email application settings, set up accounts. Um, we can go into the people area. We can tell it how to sort um, the different people that you have on your device. And then we can go down the list, pictures and camera. Um, we can enable the camera button to wake up the phone, which is handy. Um, we have auto upload to Windows Live, a bunch of other settings. I'm sure a lot of this stuff is not finalized yet, but it's cool to see where Microsoft is going. Um, we can go to messaging, SMS delivery confirmation. We can change the SMS phone number. Uh, radio, all Windows Phone 7 series devices will have a built-in FM radio. So you can switch your region to North America, Europe, or Japan. I'm going down to phone. See, that didn't do anything, so that's not active. Internet Explorer, that didn't do anything. OK, it looks like it's getting a little bit slow here. Maybe I'm over overloading it. Let's go back to phone and see if that'll do anything. I don't think phone works. Um, Internet Explorer def definitely doesn't work. But Office Mobile does work. And here we are with SharePoint. So we can hook up to a corporate SharePoint and be able to download documents and be able to get them from your device from the Office Hub, which we're going to talk about soon. Let's see if Maps works. Yep, we can turn on Location. And we're almost done the list here. We have Bluetooth, and we already saw that Games. And this is for Xbox Live. So you can log in with your Live ID um, and put in your password. But this doesn't work right now uh, because, of course, this is an early build of Windows Phone 7 series. So that was a quick look at the application settings and the general settings in Windows Phone 7 series. It looks like you get a fair amount of control and a nice way to manage and tweak things. Um, Windows Phone 7 series is generally a little Coming up soon, we're going to walk through all of the Office applications and talk about the Office Hub in Windows Phone 7 series. That's it for now.